Like arms and fronds, it'll pump you up. What is up, Bills Mafia? We have 210 days to go until the Buffalo Bills win Super Bowl 57. This channel is documenting every single day leading up to that amazing moment with a video. Thank you, everyone, for commenting on the videos that I put out. Have a lot of fun with me. I really appreciate it. Tomorrow, it starts heating up for real. The rookies are reporting for training camp. I mean, that's when you finally turn on the TV and watch the news, the sports or whatever, and you see the guys, I don't know about tomorrow, but in the next 48, 72 hours, running around in their shorts and their helmets, you know, you're like, all right, they're out there. There we go. That is the first sign that things are about to happen. And when it comes to getting prepared for the season, it's not just the players and coaches that start preparing for what they've got to do to get ready. A lot of Buffalo fans also have to start preparing to get ready for the season, including some of our iconic Buffalo Bills fans. And I started a video project that I think is going to be a real big hit. I can't wait until I finish it and show it. And while editing it, I came across this really cool video showcasing some of our top Bills Mafia fans and what they do to get ready for each and every game. So I thought I'd share it tonight. Check it out. When you've been to 423 games in a row, you learn a few things. Pro tip, good spots go fast. Season tickets, 23 years. Season ticket holder, 18 years. I haven't missed an opener with my dad since I was five years old. Been to every game in person since 94. In Buffalo, we go bigger. <laughs> You tell a buddy to throw a chef's hat on. 20 years later, <laughs> we up all weekend prepping for the tailgate. <laughs> what a chef thing got going, you know, I got the chef hats for the tailgate. My hat says, who you with? And Norm hat says, the Bills. That's our little chant we do when we in the stadium. <laughs> After the tailgate, I'm going, man, we should wear the hats in the game. They was walking in. Hey, look at the chef hat. Look the chefs. From that we're, day forward, we're, we're the, the chefs. chefs. Yeah, the ketchup and mustard started uh, innocently with just my brother. Uh, the original intent was to get ketchup and mustard on my burger with nothing on me. He shot it eight inches. Next time it was a foot. And now... Things catch on here. <laughs> Any fan can cheer, but here it's deeper. It's rituals worth remembering. Like an inside joke that found an audience, boosted the Buffalo community, and built a hardcore female fan base here in Buffalo. About nine years ago, bills were down bad. I knew I had to do something, so I went to the sessions, grabbed a can of Pepsi, pounded it, the whole game turned around. We come back, we win it, and I've been doing it every week since. That was the birth of the good luck Pepsi. Bills by a billion. Man, you in Buffalo now. And nothing. Nothing. Nothing compares to football season in Buffalo. 20 years later, I still get that pregame excitement. Who you win, Pump Bill? Who you win, Pump Bill? Who is it? Every restaurant has to have its menu. This right here is for our jerk chicken. The pizza oven. My private cooler. Our hamburgers and hot dogs. Eggs and pancakes. Chicken wings. Ribs. Shish kebabs. This is my life for the next five months. If a light bulb is broken in September, it waits till January to get fixed. Game day morning. Now the real party can start. We're going to show you guys how to tailgate in Buffalo. <laughs> Time to go hand out some good luck peps. Once you experience the energy here, you want more. The Mafia, they're my people. This many Bills fans trusting us with their barbecue? Man, that feels good. Bills Mafia is more than fans. We're family. Go Bills. All right, so that was a little bit of a Pepsi commercial. That's all right. It was really good, really well done. A lot of fun to watch, and like I said, I came across it while I was putting together a video of my own that I'm going to be showing on the opening day of the season, September 8th. It's going to be, I think, an epic video, something that you're really gonna enjoy. It's a project that I've been working on and it's coming out real nice and I cannot wait to show it because I think it will pump you up. 
Like arms and fronds. It'll pump you up. See you tomorrow. <laughs>